Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome to this awesome channel. My name is Marie Ren, for those of you who don't know. So, as you guys can see, today I'm just going to share with you guys how I do my edges and also different ways you can tie your headscarf. So as you guys can see, this is just one of the ways that I tie my hair scarf and I actually love this way. It's actually so cute and I just love it, you know? So we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Before we do get into this video, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and also hit the bell beside us so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get right into this. Okay y'all, so first things first, I'm gonna start by braiding my hair right back so that um, it can just stay flat and look nice whenever I tie the scarf on it. Otherwise, if I just leave it like that and I tie the scarf on it, it's not really gonna look um, flat and nice. So I'm back. I did my braids real quick. I did four braids on each side and as you guys can see it's not perfect. It doesn't look amazing. I just did it quick 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 in like five minutes. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna tie a scarf over it anyway. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my edges. And as you guys can see I did leave um, my edges out so that I can go ahead and do them. So to do my edges I have this brush here. And it has like a comb at the end which is exactly what you want if you don't have that it's okay you can just go ahead and use a regular toothbrush obviously make sure it's a new toothbrush and you'll also need a comb but make sure the comb is a small comb you know i couldn't find my small comb so i'm just using this one but you want to use like the smaller part of the comb just to like you know get your edges right but you guys will know what i'm talking about real soon i'm also using my hair wax from red one everything I'm using will be in the description box so if you are interested and you want to you know get something that I'm using make sure you check it out I will leave everything down there okay so first things first I'm just gonna brush my edges out and I like to start on the sides and basically all I'm gonna do is swirl you know so I'm just gonna take this and just go swirl but then when I'm doing it, I'm also making sure I leave my finger here and swirl the rest up. I don't know if that makes sense, but you guys, if you don't know what I'm saying, then just watch and you'll get what I mean. But I'm just showing you how I'm going to do it before I actually go ahead and do it. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. I just take my brush, swirl, leave my finger halfway, and then brush it away. Yeah? So... We're just gonna go ahead and do that now. Swirl, stop, and move it away. So, you know what I'm saying? Did you see that? It was super easy and quick. Okay? And whatever bit you just moved away, you wanna take that, and your finger is still in the same place, and just brush it down and then bring it down swirl again and then this is where you need your comb if you don't have a small comb like this you can use a big one but i'm gonna use the big one just to show you guys what i mean so same thing swirl right and then bring whatever you were using and then swirl it again so just do that until you get it perfect and you can kind of like tidy it up to how you want it to look but it's basically just the same technique just swell finger hold 
swirl you know it's pretty simple pretty easy um obviously it takes a bit of practice to get it perfect so just keep on doing it i don't mind it's not completely perfect but you know just go ahead and do what i showed you and it will definitely end up with good results and yeah so yeah practice makes perfect keep doing it until you're really just happy with the way it looks So that's that side done. Once again, I'm gonna start at this side just so I can do the middle part last. I don't really have a reason why. I guess it's a lot easier to do it that way for me anyway. But whatever way you find it easiest, you can do it. But this is just my way of doing it and I find it so much easier. So as you guys can see this wax is really good like you don't really need to set your edges when you use this whereas if you were to use like eco styler gel you'll need to set your edges and for a lot of um, people with natural hair it doesn't stay like this but I'll recommend everyone better use this because it's really good so the comb is just to perfect the lines you know when you use a brush you'll get that swoop but the comb really just gets the lines straight and now we're gonna move on to the next part so this one I don't like to go right in the middle I like to go on the side once more and then just do the exact same thing swoop it so do that until you get it perfect. And then take whatever hair you just left here and bring it down and swoop. Don't forget the finger to just hold it. Um, so the finger is just there to just hold that curve so it doesn't come like this I hope that makes sense but basically your finger just stays here so when you swoop you've got that curve you know and then the last part um, I'm really looking where I want it to go so obviously there's no more space to bring it here so you want to swoop it the opposite side so this part can be a bit tricky because you don't really have that much space so you really just want to like visualize it before you actually add the cream the gel sorry you just want to see how you're gonna do it so this is how I want mine to go so yeah now that you're happy with it you can go ahead and add your gel So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not swooping it straight away. I'm brushing it forward first. Just gathering everything together. Using my comb to perfect it. And then slowly just swooping it. Right, so I'm gonna start with style number one, which is the regular back um, with a bun. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, y'all. Y'all will see it. Y'all will see what I'm talking about. I'm taking my scarf. It's quite large, as you guys can see. And I'm gonna fold it because I don't really like the rough end here like that. By folding it as well, it's gonna stay in place better. And also, I've got this tag, which I wanna hide. It doesn't have to be folded in half. As you guys can see, I just folded it like a little bit. Just go ahead and put it over your head. By the way, um, 
you want to make sure that you put it just a little bit past where you want it to be because when you're tying it and twisting it it's definitely gonna move back and you might have to start all over again because it's not gonna be where you want it to be so make sure you go past just a little bit okay I hope that makes sense so now that your scarf is on you just want to grab everything into two and then go ahead and just tie it okay so as you guys can see it didn't move just like I said it would so now you just want to go ahead and set it however you want it um, make sure your edges are out a bit so people can see what you just did okay there's no point doing your edges if you're not going to show them so just a bit again just a little bit over where you want it to be and yeah so now that you have your two strands you want to go ahead and twist it just like a regular two strand twist So after you twist it, all you want to do is wrap the hair around over and over until you have nothing left. Make sure you don't wrap it too tight because if you wrap it too tight, everything is just going to slide right back. You may end up with a headache and you don't want that. If you want extra security so it doesn't come off or anything, this is definitely not going to come off. But if you just want to be safe, you can go ahead and get a hair bubble and then just put it around. Alright y'all, so I'm going to show you another way you can tie your scarf. So for this one, you'll need two scarves. You obviously want a bigger one, which is going to be the main one and something small or even if you don't have something small just another scarf will do first things first you want to take your main scarf which is going to be the one that's going to be tied on your head the one that we're basically going to see okay so again you want to fold that just a little bit like we did for the first one and you want to take your other scarf place that just above your head just like that just like that you want your balance to be good for this so just stay steady now take your scarf that you just folded instead of tying it from the back we're gonna tie it in front does that make sense make sure your hair is tucked in okay and then Go ahead and tie it. Just like that. Now you just want to set it up the way you want it to be. Make sure your edges are showing a little bit. Tuck all the material. You're going to be left with two material here. One on each side, okay? So you want to take whatever one first and then just twist it okay twist it and then wrap it around the big hump that you have up here you don't want to make it too tight you kind of want to keep a nice um, square shape you don't really want like a whole circle you kind of want to keep a nice shape and then just tuck the end in here somewhere same thing with this twist it and then you're gonna go the opposite side And ta -da! simple quick easy I absolutely love this one this is one of my favorite it is so cute it looks very classy very cute stylish you know what I'm saying which I absolutely love so yeah So now I'm gonna show you guys another way you can also tie your scarf so for this you just want to fold this in half just like the previous one we're gonna tie the scarf and tie it in front instead of the back again 
skin make sure you do show your edges all you want to do is just like the first one you just want to do a twist so after twisting it all you're gonna do is wrap it around to create that bun and then tuck it in and that's it this one is very simple and easy all right y'all so that's it for this video i enjoyed filming this video so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did like it give this video a thumbs up make sure you share it with other people so they can learn if they don't know how to tie a scarf or how to do their edges make sure you share it so other people can also watch this video and also leave a comment below to let me know if you enjoyed it it means a lot and don't forget to subscribe it's free and it means a lot to me and i really appreciate all the support and thank you guys so much for watching once again and i'll see you guys in my next video